Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much for being here. I'd like to start by offering a warm Canadian welcome to the President of Chile, Michel Bachelet. A longtime friend of Canada, it's an honor to host the Chilean delegation in Ottawa today. I first met Michelle when I was just an opposition backbench MP in 2010, when she came to Canada as head of UN Women, and we, of course, found much to agree on back then. So it's a tremendous pleasure to welcome her again here today uh, and discover that, again, we have much to agree on today. We just wrapped up an excellent meeting where we talked about issues that matter to both of our countries. Issues like gender equality, women's empowerment, economic prosperity for the middle class, regional stability, and the environment. And on this World Environment Day, we welcome the joint statement on climate change and protected areas as we celebrate 20 years of positive environmental engagement between Canada and Chile. As we know, the Canadian and Chilean economies are closely linked. Canadian companies are the largest source of new foreign direct investment in Chile, and trade has more than tripled in the last two decades. Strengthening our economic ties will help create good, well-paying jobs for people in both countries. In support of progressive growth, our nations are in the process of modernizing the Canada-Chile Free Trade Agreement. And I'm especially proud that, for the first time in Canadian history, we've included a brand new chapter in this FTA on gender. We have to give credit to Chile on this front, who demonstrated true leadership by including a gender section in their recent FTA with Uruguay. This new section on gender will promote inclusive economic growth and highlight the crucial role that gender-sensitive policies play in creating long-lasting, sustainable benefits for communities. This chapter also outlines areas of cooperation where Canada and Chile can improve conditions for women, workers and business owners alike so they can fully benefit from economic opportunity. This is a big moment for Canada and Chile and for progressive trade around the world. Il faut dire que cet important développement ne devrait pas être une surprise. Après tout, la présidente et moi-même sont sur la même longueur d'onde en ce qui concerne l'égalité pour les femmes et les filles. La présidente Bachelet a brisé le plafond de verre de la scène politique chilienne en devenant la première femme à se faire élire à la présidence du Chili. Et depuis, elle exerce une grande influence, y compris dans son rôle de directrice exécutive d'ONU Femmes. En plus de déployer des efforts pour encourager l'autonomisation des femmes et des filles, la présidente est depuis longtemps une ardente défenseur de la réforme des pensions, de la prestation d'une éducation de qualité pour les étudiants et de la protection des travailleurs chiliens. Elle travaille aussi sans relâche pour décriminaliser le mariage gay et pour appuyer le droit des femmes de choisir. Canada is honored to work with our Chilean partners to promote economic growth that works for everyone while championing policies that will lead to a better, fairer, more inclusive world. We have a working dinner later this evening that I'm very much looking forward to where, we, where we'll further reflect on our shared priorities. With that, I'm pleased to now turn it over to my friend, President Michel Bachelet. Thank you, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, for this opportunity, first of all, for the warm welcome, and also for this opportunity to visit Canada, um, a, a so important like-minded country and partner for Chile. And we had the opportunity to exchange views on how to jointly address uh, present-day challenges and uncertainties, but also to confirm our commitments to values like democracy, human rights, um, gender equality, women's empowerment, the importance of peace and security in the world, the importance of multilateralism, and also free trade, among other things that we have discussed. Um, one of the things that the Prime Minister did not mention is that when we met, when I came to Canada in 2010, to the UN Women Acti Activity, I, he was introduced to me like MP uh, Justin Trudeau, a man with a brilliant future, they said. So it was very, very, um, uh, I would say, uh, 
they, they knew what we were talking about, Prime Minister. Or they got lucky. <laughs> well, one of the things that we have discussed is also on the importance of um, ensuring uh, women's empowerment, uh, in, in women's equal rights, as the rights of every person in the world. And also, of course, on the importance on women, on peacekeeping operation, and the impact that conflict has on women and girls, and how women should be part of the resolution, but also in the, af in the aftermath, thus creating a long-term foundation for peace and security. And also, both of our countries have been very committed to Resolution 1325, adopted by the United Nations in the year 2000, uh, that deals directly with this issue. And I just w was mentioning to uh, Prime Minister that Chile was the first country in the region, Latin America, to adopt an action plan for its implementation in 2009. During my first government and during my second, now we are in the second action plan, which are focusing particularly on prevention, participation, protection, relief, and recovery. And we are also multilateral. We are members of the group of friends of Resolution 1325 that is shared by Canada. Additionally, through the Colombian peace process with Chile accompanied, we call for the participation of women at all stages, believing that the gender perspective is a necessary component of any successful negotiation. Uh, so a visible sign of our commitment is also that a, a, a part of our uh, troops there are women who are participating in the UN political mission in, in Colombia that oversees the implementation of the peace agreement. Um, of course, we have talked also about the uh, global challenges and, and of course on, on, on what to do in terms of different uh, challenges that we're dealing with. And Chile and Canada are responding by strengthening and updating our 20-year-old free trade agreement to ensure that it's more inclusive, progressive, and beneficial for all our citizens. In other words, our teenage FTA will become a more responsive and responsible 20-year-old adult. We have improved the chapters on government procurement and investment, including provisions on corporate social responsibility, and negotiated new chapters on sanitary and phytosanitary measures and on technical barriers to trade. In addition, we're signing a new chapter on gender and trade, as Prime Minister mentioned, and this not only recognizes the contribution of women to economic growth and sustainable development, but also calls for both countries to promote the economic empowerment of women through training, access to financing, and to leadership posts, and their participation among other actions. But that's not all. Chile and Canada are strong supporters of the multilateral trading system and regional integration. Be at the WTO, APEC, OECD, or the TPP, we have stood side by side, defending progressive free trade and the importance of Asia Pacific as a new global center for investment and trade. Canada has also been an active observer of the Pacific Alliance, the regional integration bloc, Chile, Colombia, Mexico, and Peru. And in June 2016, signed with the Pacific Alliance an ambitious joint declaration on cooperation in areas such as environment, innovation, and education. And recently, the Pacific Alliance took a leap forward and created a new status, associate state, for these Asia-Pacific countries which want to enter into a high standard, comprehensive trade agreement with the Pacific Alliance as a bloc. We will be pleased to welcome the Minister of Trade of Canada uh, to the late June meeting between the Pacific Alliance and Observer States, an occasion where we'll be all sharing this news with all 52 members. And of course, we are hoping that the Prime Minister could visit Chile before I, I go out of the office next year. <laughs> Thank you.